Oh, look at La Donie. You won't find you won't find La Donie as Kyrgios Mou, uh, other than Kyrgios Mou. It's getting technical. Okay. You won't find La Donie other than Kyrgios Mou anyway. In sum, though, the whole point yeah. you're making yeah. proves nothing because David was simply speaking about the Messiah as his master. Yes. He didn't have to confess him as God everywhere. Not every confession. Never did. Never imagined the Messiah was an anointed one was God. The, 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 fact, the fact is, <laughs> all the texts mm. that we present, just to emphasize again, mm. that pointed to preexistence, not one has been shot down or even really touched. We haven't had time. Touched. We haven't had okay, time. Yeah, the same problem. time we've had. Well, we don't have time to continue with this que question. We have to move on to the next one. In John 5, 19 through 24, mm. Jesus clearly differentiates himself from the Father, yet claims attributes that are only proper of deity life, judgment, and honor. In John 5.30, the son says he can do nothing of himself, yet in verses 37 through 39, he identifies himself as the one witnessed to by the scriptures who can give eternal life. Can any being do this other than Yahweh, yod of the Tanakh? That's the issue. That's, That's the exact you. issue. Want to do that one? Well, to begin with, it states that, that Hashem gave him that power. Yes. Okay? So, it's a, uh, it's an automatic thing. He had the power that was given to him from above. It's not something that he had uh, of his own. Uh, the words that he spoke, these were the words that uh, were given to him to speak. And uh, the actions that he did, these were the actions that were, he was empowered to do. In each one of these, over and over and over, he makes the statement, especially in John chapter 6, John chapter 7, I'm the sent one, I'm the sent one, I'm the sent one from heaven. To reject me is to reject the one sent from heaven. The word there, of course, in Hebrew is the shliach, the, he's the agent. He says over and over, that's who I am. Now, the agent isn't understood. As far as I know, at any point, he's, we find the shliach all through the Tanakh, and one of your main places is uh, the case of Moses in Exodus chapter 3, where he's the agent of the first redemption. How, how would you say apostolos in Greek? I, I don't... Apostolos is apostle. Is uh, excuse me. How yes. would you say apostolos in Hebrew? Shaliach. Shaliach. Mm. Ah, yes. Okay, so, so your whole point mm. about Jesus being this unique Shaliach, mm. the word for apostle in the New Testament yes. would be the equivalent right. Shaliach. Yeah. That's People right. don't worship the Shaliach. People don't bow down don't to the Shaliach that they and call the Shaliach Lord. They don't worship Jesus either. Of course okay. they here, here. Not with La Trevo, not with religious worship. We haven't Daniel done Daniel 7, they did. The servants of the Son of Man in English service received yeah, the trill. The that's, man, that's the term in Septuagint. Also the son, of, the son of Man, corporate, the saints, the same thing. Same word. The, no, no, at saints the end of that chapter, the, wor the worship is to the individual at the end that's of right. Daniel 7. So you believe that the you believe that the So then you're saying that worship people worship a group? We do not believe that. People worship... Oh, okay, so hang on. You quoted John 5, <laughs> all right? That I everyone should five. honor, yes, Anthony did. did. Everyone yeah. should honor the no, son yes. the way yes. they honor the father. Of course. Do you honor the son exactly the way you honor the father? Could you get down on your knees right now and as, this, as everything created does in the book of Revelation and say praise and honor and glory belong to, to you, O oh God, and to you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Could you do that, Joe? In that and, and do you do in that? In that context, <laughs> in that context, the way you stated it right there, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Do you do that? Do I do that? Is that in your hymnology? Is that you, you spend time worshiping Yeshua in those? Well, you spend time praise, honor, glory. You pray to Him the way Stephen did. You, well, you let me let me let me ask you something. You pray the Lainu? No, I, I don't follow Jewish tradition. That's okay. later. Okay. Well, Although I, pray I respect the Lainu, it, I the Lainu has exactly that text. Now, whenever I go through that text, whenever I go through that prayer, what do I have in my mind? I don't know. I have, I, in my mind, I have exactly what we read in Philippians, okay? That every knee will bow to him. All right, so how, how about if we just Yeshua, do this exercise here? I see here. Yeshua as the Lord of Lords, as the King of Kings, that he has been put there. Now, don't uh, make God can, of can, gods can we do, I say can, Lord of can, Lords. Can we I mean, do this master together? Of can we worship him as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, and say to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, can you join me in doing this now? Be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever to you, Lord Yeshua, and to you, O Father. You can join with me in doing that without compromise, without hesitation. I can, I can do that. I can do that. But it is with my understanding that Hashem has, made, has elevated him to that position. I will not give that glory to a human being. God forbid that I give that glory, that praise, that honor to a human being and serves 
You should not do it. That is defiling. That is wrong in the sight of God. That glory, worship, and honor only belongs to a divine being. Yeah. When you worship God and the Lamb side by side as one, and when Revelation 22 tells us mm -hmm. that his servants forever will serve him, the one God, God and the Lamb, that, that tells well, me that we God don't, wanna, God there, not, we not don't there. want to mess yeah. with those truths. Yeah. And you do yeah. not want to give that kind of glory and praise to a created fleshly being. But it's Michael, a serious you're not error. Us the word, talk about the word latrevo. There's a word for religious worship in Greek, not the general word proskineo is to worship. You can worship human beings in the Bible. You can. Proskineo. We gave you, know you Daniel 7. Yeah, Daniel 7 explicitly says Son of man it. There's and your the answer. The saints are also worshipped. Same word. No, no, the best, the best reading of that is recently demonstrated in a, in a good article on it. The Aramaic is referring back to the hymn, namely the Son. Uh, otherwise, your whole point defeats itself that religious worship can be given to a group of people. Therefore, the word itself proves nothing. Or it shows the worship belongs to God and the Son is also God. You haven't God. Told like Trevor, though. You haven't told me what <laughs> yeah, we, we've said it. We just, we've we said just, it repeatedly. Wait, Daniel said it. But, but, but since the question asked us very, very quickly, yeah. I want, I want to, we, we jumped away from John 5, mm. unfortunately. But please, make sure people understand. The, the, the interpretation I heard of John 5 was exactly what I hear from my Muslim friends. Mm -hmm. It misses the context. Jesus <coughs> said to the Jews, mm -hmm. my father is working until now and I am working. Mm. What about those words caused the Jews such anger? Because they recognized Jesus was asking, was, was claiming the same prerogative that God himself has to keep the universe functioning on the Sabbath day itself. And notice, this is why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he not only was breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling God his own father, making himself equal with God. The interpretation given was, well, the Jews were all wrong, and Jesus goes on to correct that. That is not what John chapter 5 is about. John chapter 5 is a demonstration of the absolute unity of the Father and the Son. The Son is not some separate renegade deity out there doing his own thing. And when he says the Son does nothing, off hey out to, from himself. That does not mean that he is not deity. What that means is he has perfect unity with the Father, and he has been sent by the Father to accomplish a specific task. And thank God, he accomplishes that perfectly. Okay, do you want to quickly respond? I have three questions, and yes. I want to ask Stone. We're really running out of and time. As in this God, section. I do what I'm told, he said. As God, according to your reading, I do what I'm told. What sort of a God is this? Well, that, because, sir, think about what you just said. You are giving me the only other possibility is to have two gods that fight with each other instead of a son who is d doing exactly what glorifies the father and what he was sent to accomplish. You don't even allow for the possibility of the reading that we ourselves have established from many other sources. And that he, he took on human form. He humbles himself so he is functioning in a certain way and is designated in a certain role here. That's what Philippians 2 says. He stripped these things off. If he didn't previously exist, why did he have to strip off all these divine oh, prerogatives? But to both of you, either. I'm hearing a, a, a subordinate uh, as Trinitarians, I'm still hearing you say both a number of times that Yeshua is still subordinate to the Father. It, it, this is, this so, is the eternal covenant of redemption. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit take different roles in redemption. It's not the Father who became flesh. It's not the Spirit who became flesh. Each take 